last season you you hosted Kayla Chiefs. Um, this time around, you guys are coming here. Um, you know, from a relationship point of view, what does this mean to to you as a club? Uh, I mean, we're very happy um, to be here in South Africa and to be invited as well by Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, we started last year, we created this situation and relationship with Kaiser Chiefs and it makes a lot of sense when you are doing something good for, your, for, your, um, for, for the other club and they think the same to you as well. So coming, coming to South Africa this time around uh, to play Kaiser Chiefs in, uh, in, in, in South Africa makes a lot of sense for us and, and creates a better relationship with our African clubs across the continent. Last time we invited them, they came to Dar es Salaam. We were playing uh, something called Wiki Mananchi. That means uh, it's a week of citizen. You know, Young Africans has a nickname of uh, Team Yawananchi, means the team of the citizens. And um, so initially, uh, at the beginning of the season, we play a friendly game. And we do a whole uh, call, call like um, a week of events where we start by introducing the kit of the new season, and then we use the same platform to do a lot of CSR with the public, and moreover we play a friendly game with one of the international clubs. So last year it was us against Kaiser Chiefs, and we use the same platform to also introduce the new players, new technical staff for the specific season. And um, so now this time around, as part of the preseason. We are um, invited by, by Kaiser Chiefs to play Toyota Cup, which will be happening on 28th of uh, July. Uh, and it's going to be here in, uh, in South Africa, in Bluffontein. And we are very happy to be part of the Toyota tournament. Will you be playing any other games in South Africa besides this one? Yes, we do, but uh, we will come back and introduce the same fixture. We'll be coming to South Africa a bit earlier before that game, but we'll come up uh, and, and you know introduce the entire plan. Uh, but we'll also have some few games in South Africa as well. And uh, one of your star players has been you know, quite uh, linked with other clubs, but of course there's also talks that you know he's uh, you've offered him a contract that is uh, Aziski. Have you just uh, confirmation in regards to what is his future with your club? Uh, it's very tough for, for, for us, especially losing a player like Aziski, but I'm not saying that we're going to lose him. There's a lot of interest coming from um, a number of clubs, including some of the clubs in, in South Africa. But the Young Africans has, has a very um, strong connection with the player and also we've, we've done our, our homework as, leader, uh, as leaders of the club to make sure that the, that the player stays in the club. And uh, the discussion is going very well. We will definitely come back and, and, and do the introduction when we finalize the thing. But as of now, nothing has been finalized, even though there's a lot of other clubs uh, interesting with the player and that they've sent. Um, so the discussion is there. I can say um, there's a big chance for him to stay, but, but we haven't finalized yet. Does he want to stay? Is he always tempted by some of these offers? Yeah, he has been, he has been in a position of uh, um, trying to, to you know, uh, put his position clearly that he wants to stay. And, you know, I signed him two years ago from ASIC Mimosas and I told him about my project. We want to take this team to the next level with him as well. And he was the key member of, uh, of, of the program and, and the plan that I was putting in place. So our discussion was the same and he was very keen to say that I need to be here in Young Africans, at least take this team to, to the project uh, levels that he wanted to. So yes, he wants to stay, but you know, uh, football is business nowadays, you can, you can be tempted to stay in that position, but financial uh, stability, financial approach can also change your mindset. So 60-40. And uh, just maybe there's a lot of excitement with uh, the current coach of Kaiser Chiefs. You know him too, uh, maybe extensively. Just explain how a uh, you know a coach is he, you know, human being, a coach. Uh, he's achieved a lot of four trophies with you. Just take us through the type of human being that he is. Yeah, he's a good coach. Um, he has been he has been with us for two and a half season. The first season for him, actually, was trying to build the team. 
and we, he came in the middle of a season and said we were tr we, we want to build a team with you so come and then there's no expectation uh, from you and then from the team as well for, for that specific season but two more seasons that he spent fully with us we won everything in the league we won FA Cup we won the league two times two times um, in those two years and then won the charity cup two times so he has won six trophies with us in two years and furthermore we went all the way to the court of uh, to the final of CAF confederation uh, with him as well so in terms of success he has been doing very well with young africans unfortunately this season when he went to for a bat uh, and nothing has been working perfectly in terms of winning the trophies. But he's a good coach and uh, i take this opportunity to wish him all the best. And uh, another player who has also been linked with an exit, uh, Skudu, what has been the discussions uh, around Skudu as well? Uh, so Skudu, we are, um, we are, he's still a, he's, he's part of the family and he's also looking for other opportunities for next season, which will be start very soon. So as of now, uh, nothing has been concluded, but we will come back and inform the public. Mr. President, um, you're one of the leaders in There's an issue regarding AFL, the, the scheduling. You, you sit in the, in the, in the cap uh, committees and stuff. What is the latest situation regarding AFL? Is it coming back or what is the scheduling now? Where, where are we with AFL? Um, so far, nothing has been uh, concluded at the CAF level, uh, as, my, as per my understanding, based on the few meetings that we had recently. So there's no any strong position regarding AFL. There's no any strong position regarding CAF Confederation. I think we all understand that there was rumors that the CAF Confederation will be uh, will be cancelled the tournament and then have uh, Champions League and AFL. But nothing has been um, informed uh, specifically based on those. So I, I cannot be in a position of um, speaking out uh, on the same. So I don't know about AFL, I don't know about CAF Champions League or CAF Confederation, which, you know, which one will be cancelled and you know maintain the two. For me, I mean, those, those tournaments are very key for us. I mean, most of the clubs in Africa, they are also expecting to participate in continental tournaments, regardless of the name, whether it's this uh, confederation or what. But the thing is, we should be looking into the very positive um, uh, approach of this tournament in, in, a, in a fact of um, having specific number of games in the continental level. But number two, uh, sponsorship as well, because it's, these tournaments involve a lot of money. I mean, traveling across the continent, it's too expensive. Some of the areas, some of the countries, when you want to travel to those countries, you have to go to either Middle East and come back to Africa, or you go to Europe via Turkey, Turkish airline, and, and come back to Africa. So it's very expensive. For me, a key is, yes, we want to participate in the tournament, but number two, it should be very clear that the, these clubs are also getting something out of the tournament so that they can be able to sustain the travels and other uh, other costs. Uh, Mr. President, last time we spoke to you, we spoke, you, you told us that um, ACA is still in the process of uh, registration so that you can hit the ground running. What's the status right now with regards to ACA? Uh, registration of AC has been done, but uh, we haven't finalized um, the specific headquarters. So now we have, a, 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 I would say, virtual headquarters, um, which will be operating uh, here in South Africa uh, with a small office that runs all the operation of ACA. A strong, um, strong. Um, uh, how can I say, a strong host came, came forward now. We have Kenya, we have uh, Morocco, we have Algeria, we have Ivory Coast, and, 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 and Rwanda, those, those countries are very strong. They want to bring this ACA, the formal office in their countries. So we will have a very, a very um, we will have a meeting actually tomorrow that finalizes uh, which country are we going for. But in the meantime, we have a virtual office which is presented so that. Thank you so much, President.